Hey, I'm Chubut, the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix your iPhone if the screenshot is not working on your iPhone or you cannot take a screenshot now. There is multiple ways to take a screenshot as we explained in previous video, but for some reason, if it's not working for you, you want to follow these tips. So let's get started. So first thing is before you understand the troubleshooting aspect, you should know the couple ways that you can take a screenshot. The first and the easiest way to take a screenshot is by pressing the volume up and the side button for the phones that have all screen with it so you need to press these two buttons at the same time and you take a screenshot now if you do have a iphone sc or any iphone that has a home button it works slightly different you need to use the side button here and the volume uh side button and the home button at the same time instead of the volume button so these two buttons at the same time you take a screenshot now that's simple and easy now other ways to take a screenshot on your iPhone besides using the buttons, let's say you can't press it at the same time. You can also use Siri to take a screenshot. So if I activate Siri and say, hey Siri, take a screenshot, and it does a screenshot for me just like that, simple as that. Now, another method you can use on your iPhone is using it um, by turning on the back tab feature, which is a feature in your settings, and then you go to accessibility, and then once you go to accessibility, you go to touch here and then all the way down here where it says back tap, you click on back tap and then you can use action, either a double back tap or triple back tap. So I'll do a double and then I'll go down here to screenshot. And once I do that, I can actually uh, tap on the back glass of my iPhone twice and it'll take a screenshot just like that. As you can see here, it take a screenshot uh, just like that. It's really simple to do. Those are a couple of ways to take a screenshot on your iPhone. Now, let's say any of these methods didn't work. You want to do the first thing, which is first thing is understand where the screenshot is being saved to. Most of the time when you take a screenshot and swipe it that way, it defaults to saving it to your photos app. So go ahead and open up your photos app, go to album and check your most recent and you should see a screenshot there. Now, let's say you didn't save it to photos. Another popular place that usually screen got gets saved to is your uh, files app. So also check out your files app, browse around to see if it's saved there as well. Now, if it's not saved in either of these places, you, you may maybe take a screenshot or it's not working. The other thing also to consider is if you have iPhone with the case on just like this, I recommend taking off the case because the case can actually interfere with things like the back tab and the volume up and the side button. So try seeing it without the case if it works. And if you know if it works without the case, that means there's an issue with the case. So you may need to consider changing the case because it's interfering with the buttons of your iPhone. Now, moving on to the other things that you should consider is doing a forced restart on your iPhone. So if you're still having issues, do a forced restart. So how do you do a forced restart? It's going to be really simple. On any iPhone, you press and release the volume up followed by press and release the volume down and then hold the side button until the screen goes completely black. So I'll do volume up, volume down and then I hold the side button just like that and I keep on holding the side button until the screen goes completely black. We're going to wait till the screen goes completely black and as you can see we're still holding it because it's still black and then we're going to wait till it shows up the Apple logo. That means we're good to go here. The iPhone has restarted or force restarted, basically shut down the software and then reload the code so that if it's a software related issue impacting the screenshot from not working correctly, it will fix that problem for us. And this method will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps still will stay on your phone. Now moving on to the next thing you should consider is that if your phone is has enough free storage. So what I mean by that is if you go into setting of your iPhone, go to general and then iPhone storage, you want to see that you have enough storage available on your iPhone here. As you can see here, I have a phone with 128 gig. I'm using up 18 gig. But if you're using up all the storage, for example, you can't save screenshots. So even though you might take a screenshot, it might not get saved. So consider deleting some things like uh, any large format videos, photos, any apps as well. But basically, you want some free storage to be able to save on your iPhone. Now, let's say you did that and you did a force restart. It's still not working. Another thing you can do is reset the settings. So in your settings of your iPhone, go to general, and then go all the way down here to so transfer reset iPhone. Click on the first option to reset, and we're going to do a reset of all settings. All settings are things like network related settings, any keyboard dictionary settings, any home screen layout settings, any location and privacy settings themselves. They're just the settings themselves. So that will not delete any of your personal data again, like photos, videos, apps, anything like that. Just resetting the settings themselves so that if you're having issues, it will fix it for you. Now, moving on to the next troubleshooting steps that you want to do is that 
if you did a reset, which takes about a minute or two, you want to update your phone's iOS version. If you go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general software update and check if there's an update available. As you can see, you have an update available. And if you're finding all of these didn't help, you might consider updating your phone. And hopefully after that, it is working for you. So that's it for all the troubleshooting steps in terms of fixing screenshot not working on your iPhone. I hope now the screenshot is working. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Also, if you found a better way to fix the problem, leave it in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.